There had not been a time in recent memory when any had challenged the collective might of the Commonwealth. But as conflict engulfed the world, our enemies were foolish enough to bring aggression to our coastline. And as Japanese bombs fell on our shores, the Commonwealth was already in motion to defend her people. And when we strike back, we shall do so as united front, with allies by our side. And together, we shall find victory! Hi guys, Gaming Bear here. Right, here we are. Hearts of Iron 4, and we're looking, well, together for victory. So, who are we going to choose? Well, an area you may not really have heard of. We are going for British Malaya. Okay. What are you thinking? Teeny, teeny, tiny place. But what you don't realise, that materials-wise, it's got a huge amount. Now, here we go. Rubber. 920 oil 18 okay not a lot tungsten 308 steel 32 no chromium oh dear it hasn't got chromium everything else it's got a surplus yes it's trading a lot of it but it's got huge huge reserves huge reserves of oil as um oil and well not oil uh the tungsten and uh, and rubber rubber especially wow you know so this is where we start off now let's check our army. Army, two units. Two units. Wow, yeah, exactly. Feel the burn. So let's put them both, both units together under this commander. And no commander. So let's assign one commander, get him in. It costs no experience. So we've now got a new commander. Woohoo! Okay, so we now have a commander. First thing we do is start the guys training. They have their green, no experience. We need them to have some experience. We need equipment, we need trading, we need whatever we can get because we basically just have two units. Now, the British are here ship-wise and they have one unit helping to uh, to protect us. Well, yeah, it's we are we got all these resources and just around the corner there's Japan over here well as soon as they want our resources we are in a whole world of trouble so we need to try and build ourselves up shake it off and get set up ready for the Japanese to come in okay yeah bit of a tall order well let's see what we can do so research slots well first thing we do let's get the the guys in training get some experience get things ticking then construction wise what have we got one factory well we need to start building more factories where can we put it let's start a factory here and a factory there as well so that's where we're going to start start off with these this situation and see what we can do from there just build up and then put ourselves into a position where we can start getting some equipment for now let's have a look what do we have we have some weapons woo wow okay so yeah not a lot what can we produce so let's have a look production facilities we have one weapon basic weapons we can produce but we have the option to produce everything else we can think of which is nice to know and we've even got outdated equipment like weapons which we could go for instead but we haven't got a large enough army so that's the normal weapons we've even got light tanks planes we've got a whole host of planes we have a huge array of stuff we could build if we had the facilities now we have a huge amount of resources here so what we need to try and do is start trading that's up to other people going for us so let's look at the year uh, the nas national focuses so army effort right the way through well what we need to do is look at the industrial side and we could go for politics work our way down and go for fascism try and work alongside the japanese and go hey we're we're on your side dudes but i would say for now 
we we need to try and build our research up if, if you have a look we actually have let's let's look at well we need factories to build things but research we have standard weapons we have motorized equipment then we come in we already have engineering company recon and motorized then we have great war tanks and light tanks already um, researched guns we have artillery anti-air we don't have anti-tank but we have anti-air already and artillery ships we have a huge a wealth of options in front of us we've even got a fleet in being option from day one planes most starting places would ha would be like oh if only we had that many options it's just we can't produce them then we come to look at this electronic engineer radio and radio detection we have better electronic engineering than the Germans start off with you know that's how good this stuff is I almost said the, the sh this shit is which I wouldn't say so the, uh, just how good this stuff is so construction let's start off with the uh, construction now oil we've got oil ourselves we don't need it production wise yes let's go for production next technology what do we need well synthetic oil we've got the real stuff so let's look mechanical computing let's go for uh, mechanical computing right we need the production side so industrial research for industry yes and this is where we are now we need manpower we've got about two million men and we've got uh, 50,000 spare men we need to have more men to be able to fight off the Japanese and get into a position to be able to do it now what let's have a look what have we got fighters no fighters we've got uh, we can have a 1200 now where okay so let's look at this so we have two troops just standard weapons template wise three units per per army we need more men we need to build these numbers up and let's see what options we've got so recruitment we just have the Malayan infantry okay we need these guys in place and we need to be starting to produce some equipment for them but I would say for now we just need these guys and we'll get them weapons as soon as we can so for now let's start training some units so location Singapore this army let's get we'll put them up along the border in fact yeah let's start them off along the border we can allocate new things as we go so allocating more people to these uh, these units now it's going to take a while to, for them to produce we can get more equipment to them as time goes by 44 so each one is 3,000 so 10 units and we'll keep them keep them running Let's go for three times ten, and hopefully that'll be enough. And then we can get them enough equipment to be able to uh, to produce produce the guns to go with it. Now we need three thousand basic infantry equipment, and we get more equipment with this older, basic, outdated gun setup. So we'll move that up. So as soon as as soon as we've got any equipment any production facilities they're producing these guns we need 3,000 guns so we'll get the old outdated equipment first and start producing from there get these guys equipped that's it that's all we can do so let's uh, mosey on what else can we do not a lot so speed this right up now let's ask for let's go back to Britain now from here let's go back we can go, go to diplomacy and 
Britain boost popularity. Now, we want some help. We want them to send us equipment, and there's nothing or some equipment to go with these troops we're going to be building. So for now, this is where we are. Building these troops up. This unit here. Let's get the, these guys. A, a four back line there. So put him on that four back line. And him up there. And that's, that's it. Now, I would say these ports, depends on whether they land near the port, can we defend? Well, let's see what we can do. Keep keep this speeding up. Production-wise, let's have a look. It's going to take time. Manpower, no equipment. We just need some training. Not enough equipment. Finished on the 12th of May. Well, it's not looking good. We need... The days are going on, and we just don't have any equipment whatsoever. So, we need the facilities, we need the production, we need the weapons. We need help. We seriously need help. Now, troops, British troops, there we go, industrial effort, okay, next, construction or armaments, well, military factory, let's go for a military factory first. Now, let's look at our construction, two factories, both producing, kicking through as quickly as we can start producing get the factories in and as soon as the uh, the weapons start there we go Spanish Civil War yeah we can't send anyone through yeah no point and our troops how fast a point experience point one seven very slow very small army but we will eventually get some experience we're not going to be totally green when the Japanese arrive this is what we have to watch out for now, it's an interesting one. The, what we have, no one wants our resources at the moment, but they will do. They go, as we're moving more towards a war footing, they are going to need our, our equipment, and we are going to need their help. So we'll see what we can do. This huge, huge amount of trade goods, people will want it. So let's see what we can do. See what we where we get to. See how quickly we can build up, get our production facilities in place, and be able to defend ourselves. Hey, who knows? We may even be able to uh, to move in and re-attack Japan. Yeah, I'm uh, not so sure, but uh, let's see. So, basic machine tools, nice. Just at the same time, we get a factory. Great, 1936. Now, 50% concentrated. I'm going to go for concentrated. We need the production. So, <clears throat> let's have a look at the production. We are now producing weapons. We've gone for the cheap weapons. Lots of them. And we can now start producing weapons for the troops. We know what we need. We need 30 units. Well, it's going to take... It's going to take... Oh, let's have a look. Template. What can we do next? Okay. Civilian economy, 30%. Can't alter anything else. Export focus. Free trade, 80%. Export, 50%. Factories, output, plus 15. Resources, 80% to market. Research time lowered, research time lowered, 
volunteers only. What else can we do? Limited conscription. Well, we've we've got a large number of men. We need uh, this. is It's tricky. It's, it's this. This is the key. The balance of being able to produce enough. So let's have a look. Theorists. What have we got in industry-wise? Then design... Naval, military, political advisors, what can we get? Democratic, civilian factory, construction speed plus 10%. Yes. That will, that will seriously help. National focus. Right. Building and military. Well, yes. More factories, more factories. Three thousand thirty-two, two thousand thirty, twenty-seven, going the right way. They've taken Ethiopia, one part of Ethiopia. We just keep it ticking over. Eight percent. Okay, we can do this. I'm just going to take through one. It's it's a whole load of troops that um, that we need to get through, but the equipment we are getting it. It's not the best equipment. It's pretty shoddy stuff. Construction speed and excavation. Yeah, we don't need that. Right. What do we need? Right. These are fine. Now let's look. Manpower. Well, we don't have any support stuff that we can put in. Now we will need, so we can dig in to assist us now. Signal company, let's go for the signal company because that's going to boost our recovery. Yeah. What other options do we have before we click on that? Grand battle plan. Defensive grand battle plan. I'm thinking of maximum planning. We just need we need to seriously defend ground based as much as possible get the troops out there get the battle plans in place and hold on as long as we can and wait for British support 0.66 experience oh yeah we do oh unpause let's uh, let's keep this ticking over so I'm thinking this is this is looking really good we have this huge amount of resources We just need to be able to do something with it. Trade back and forth. Armament effort, brilliant. Uh, building slots and military factories. Now armament, more building slots. Yes. Production. Keep it ticking over. Manpower. These guys are getting the training is coming out, the equipment's coming out. Ooh, there we go. Con the games concentrated industry. I'm liking this. Excavation, it's useful, plus 10%. Let's let's check the resources. We've got lots of resources. An additional 10% is you, not to be sniffed at. Things like steel, we're actually, we could run short of steel. So steel on its own is something that we, we could well need. So I'm thinking, okay, we'll go for the steel side of things. So more excavation. 
to give a steel be a steel for weapons is something that's very very useful coming on nicely mechanical computing brilliant well we've got a lot the research we've got we've we've worked with Britain we've got lots and lots in the way of uh, electronic engineering and knowledge it's strange just how good it is so interwar artillery actually no troop wise troop efficiency is more important so now we'll go for the uh, either signal company or field hospitals now what do we need for field hospitals so train time organization let's go for field hospitals we don't have a great amount of men able to to hit hit the uh, the front at the beginning so it's a race against time to make ourselves as strong as possible and we need to try and build some some bases that we can hide behind get some infrastructure in place to defend against the Japanese when they come in Singapore was a strong place with the British in place to assist great how's this looking what have we got here okay looking good so back to the recruitment side great yes we've just got two and one so they're ticking in it's coming in nicely the troops the troops are coming in the equipment is being produced we've just got to keep it ticking over armament effort yes okay next now building slots yes We've got one whole point. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. We can do this, boys. We can do this. So, this is how you can set Malaya up. Get it ticking over. Build up the units. Get ready for the Japanese to attack. And wait for assistance. Okay, what have we got next? Chief of the Army. Army offence. Army defence. Let's go for army defense. Very, very useful. Yes, yes. So we keep it ticking over. Let's look at the numbers. Minus 2000, it's going the right way. We're producing 23, 22. Minus 19, we must have just... Yes, another unit has just come out. Brilliant. So we're ticking through. We know what, what we're going to be getting, what we need. It'll give us the right number of, um, of guys in time. Shifting men over to both sides. Now, we, we, we will need more men over on this side to protect us. Let's have a look. Construction effort. Building slots. Now, let's look at these guys. And I'm thinking deployment. We can only deploy them over here. I was hoping to be able to, to deploy them and shift them across. Now we need sh convoys. We don't have uh, the ability to, to build them at the moment. A bit of a pity. So this is going to be very vulnerable. The troops are training. So let's send three units can we send them over here another commander 
five points. Uh, no chance. So, will they head over? Great. Do we... Will they just travel straight across? That's what I'm hoping. We don't have any boat, any ships to better convoy them over. So I'm thinking it's going to be a bit of a, a bit of a struggle until we've got the uh, the boats. So let's get them all. Yes, get them all here. Get them covering, garrisoning, garrisoning the area. So one, two just covering the whole just covering everything and that's all we can do for now nationalist spain interesting yes definitely so seven states nationalist spain has been dealt with Oof. very very tricky what can we do but we need the facilities we need the factories let's look at the construction side two factories built what else have we got the option of now factories and what are we going to need so poor naval docks can we at this stage produce any let's have a look ship wise ship wise convoys we need one naval dockyard. So we will have to produce a naval dockyard to allow us to get troops over over this side to defend against the Japanese a Japanese invasion. Uh, there's no other there's no other way. We do need we do need the ships. So two convoys and it's a lot to ask. It is a lot to ask, but we will have to get the, them over there. So, construction. Let's relook. Naval dockyard. Naval dockyard. And we'll allocate one here. So we set that up like that. Get this built, and then next we'll get a dockyard to allow us to shift troops over. It's not going to be easy, but we can do this. We can do this, boys. Do it, boys and girls. Oh, yes. With our resources, I'm hope what I'm hoping is that people want our resources and are willing to trade us and uh, help us as much as possible to have a look construction let's improve the construction so outdated equipment well we need outdated equipment recruitment yep that's coming on field hospitals nice our troops are going to have everything. So, let's go for radios. Hey, may as well. We're going to have the best troops possible with no equipment to give them. Concentrated industry. Cool. Extra infrastructure. Well... start it oh yes so keep it ticking over more troops we need to get some of these guys over on the other shore northern borneo needs we need the deployment of ships 
So as soon as we can get... Let's move that up. As soon as we can get this built, we can get some ships produced to transport the troops over. We've got a nice amount of troops here, but we need them on both, both banks to allow us to defend against the Japanese. We can do this. We can do this, boys. So, industrial... Industrial concern. Yeah, let's go for industrial research time. Grand battle plan. Oh, yes, indeedy. We, we will fight them on the features. Oh, yes. We can do this. So, it's slow at the beginning. Japan hasn't uh, started to go to war with anyone yet. We want to protect ourselves and make sure that we're ready for any invasion. We know, I, I'm certain, they're going to go for the northern island, North Borneo first. <clears throat> Whereas Singapore, we will have the troops to hopefully hold them off for a while. Oh no, it's gone down again. Infrastructure, let's have a look. Extra research slots, oh lovely. Building slots and civilian factories. Cool. We're short of ma manpower. Okay, let's have a look at the recruitment side. So, let's cut these back. And that's, that's going to be the end of, of the guys that we can produce. We are now going to start needing to produce better equipment. So they, they've actually got improved equipment. So so from this, I'm thinking we'll stop, we'll stop the production line and then we start producing something else that we completely need. So we're going to stockpile equipment so let's shift that down and improve the weapons that we're producing and then we're going to close this unit down so let's have a look at our stockpile so producing a nice number of weapons we'll have two a stream of two uh, basic equipment plus the other equipment that we're going to start producing Ships will move into and to be where we need them. We'll get some troops over and we'll, and we'll defend the beaches. So, basic equipment. Let's look at the production side. We still need this basic equipment. That's filled. Fantastic. Now, towed artillery, support equipment. We don't even have the points to put these in. So, let's have a look at the upgrades that we could well do. So, let's look at the recruitment side. Edit. Now, support artillery. We need... Let's have a look. Artillery. The engineering company is to dig in. I'm thinking the engineering. Engineering is more important. Whereas the port artillery, we could actually fit in quite neatly and have the other bits of equipment here working alongside. So support artillery, we will need 30 and the manpower to go with him. Okay, we can do this. So I'm thinking support artillery, the assault hard attack. Yeah, we can do this. N what? Let's check. Engineering Company, Soft Attack 21, Defense 90, let's have a look at Artillery. Defense 71, Soft Attack, Armour, Entrenchment, None. HP 70, 8.75, let's look at the different options. 77, Soft Attack, Defense 90, 5% Entrenchment, 
I'm thinking the, the entrenchment's going to be useful. So, we're going to need support equipment. Support equipment is next. Okay. So, production-wise, we're going to need this as support equipment. And we're short of aluminium. We'll produce what we can produce. Not a lot you can do, you know, you can only do your best. But we are producing support equipment. Low quantities, but we're producing it. Oh, she's gone. That's such a pity. So, weapons going nicely. Support equipment we're going to need more of. Let's look at the recruitment side. Okay. Construction effort. Let's have a look. Civilian and building slots. Okie dokie. Infrastructure. Why not? We are going to need more men. A lot more men. So as soon as we can change the war footing, we need to do it in such a way to get more me me men ready. Oh dear, the Marco Polo Bridge incident. The Chinese war is potentially about to start happening. We need to get ready. We need to transfer men over as quickly as we can. So we've got some support equipment, not a lot. Construction. Let's look at our trade side of things. So, aluminium, we need one. Oil, all of these. Steel, we're exporting 18. We need to change the balance of payments. Let's look at the construction side what we've got we need we need this built get this out of the way and then build build up to get the guys just secure the area and then we need to start building forts land forts to secure the whole area. Okay. Concentrated industry, yes. Now, weapons wise, we're doing fine. Now, let's check, let's change these round and alter. Just one, yeah, ch change these boys around. Get the, uh, start producing more support equipment. We've got enough weapons. Support equipment is the key. We're going to keep putting out weapons, but support equipment is what we need. So, weapons-wise, looking good. Signal company, cool. Then we are going to need, let's go for logistics, so the guys are cheaper to to run this is going to be done how long is it going to take not too long 21st of November two to three month months and we will have will be starting to produce the port to allow us to ship troops over. We can do this. Oh, let's have a look. I modify the government. Right. Civilian factor now. Economy, partial mobilization. 25%, 20%. Let's look at what we're trading.
one for trade. So 20%, 20% is for trade at the moment. So let's relook. Limited conscription. Two and a half percent compared to one and a half percent. We need, we need the men. Great, brilliant. So that's going to give us more m trained men. Oh, let's have a look. They've declared we're in Shanxi. Ooh, declared war. Conflict is worrying. It is very, very worrying indeed. So, extra research slot. Secret weapons. What are we going to need now? Libertarian. Collective ethos. Foreign expeditions. Techno We've got plenty of technology. Now this is where we start to think of, okay, how are we going, what are we going to do? How are we going to deal with everything? Land doctrines, equipment, coming through special forces. We don't have the experience and the manpower to give us the experience force-wise. So we need to be able to uh, to deal, deal with them in, in other ways. Let's have a look. Building slots and three naval dockyards. Uh, this is imperative. Construction, one naval dockyard. Now, if we're going to get three naval dockyards anyway, I don't feel the need to um, to actually go for this at this stage, if you see what I mean. If we're going to be given three naval dockyards, then there is no need to build this. And we can save. Let's have a look at the... Yeah, let's cancel that. Let's look at the infrastructure. Three infrastructure, not the greatest. So, we are going to need land forts, naval fort, coastal forts to defend, defend the ports. Forts and ports. Let's close this down. Let's look. How is this looking? No, we definitely do need this area. We have to protect here first. Because they're, they're going to dominate the uh, the water. And this is going to go pretty quickly. The Singapore is probably going to, well, going to survive a lot longer. We need to protect Singapore first. And Borneo is secondarily important. So let's look at the at what we get trade-wise. 1872 compared to yeah, huge, huge numbers. We don't have any oil. No oil over here. And that's one issue. But we're not, we're not actually using any oil at the moment. And we're not trading any. Now why not? Um, delivery penalty. We have no convoys. We can't, So we need those convoys to get the oil and the rubber. Okay, now I get it. And if we can't send the convoys, then we can't, we can't get them anyway. So... Templates, low manpower. Let's keep it ticking over. War on China. Production. Let's look at the naval effort. So, three naval uh, dockyards. That's plenty. So construction, more factories, and I'll say, let's go for a military factory here.
and then we're going to need uh, we are going to need land forts absolutely everywhere along the coast Yugoslavian issues let's have a look details let's see what we can produce so large navy flexible navy let's leave those no ideas about those at the moment two air bases army slots land doctrine equipment motorized no not at the moment political so insufficient so we need aluminium that means that we are we have the ports so let's look at the production side so we're short of oil the oil will allow us to make the ships to get the oil <laughs> silly so we've got three ports this equipment is going the right way we just need to get everything ticking through so we speed this up get the ships out then we can start moving men men around between our, uh, our ports and start setting up a defense ready for the, uh, the Japanese to invade now historically I remember uh, stories about uh, from hearing from the Japanese side that they there was the surrender negotiations and they didn't know whether it was the British who wanted them to surrender they were that short of equipment and food that it could have gone either way except the the British gave in so uh, yeah I, I found that was absolutely fascinating free dockyards Okay, factory wise. Oh, ship wise. What happened? Convoys. Three. For a month. See what we can produce. And then after that. Let's go for 10. And I'm thinking submarines. See what happens with that. So, construction. More factories incoming. Cool. Prepared defense. Brilliant. Ground assault. Yeah. It's all going to be ground based. I'm liking the way this is looking. We will be able to get the uh, the troops across by the time the Japanese arrive, which will be pretty hot. Then improve machine tools. Let's have a look. We probably will need synthetic oil, even though we've got the oil in the other place. We probably will need it. Uh, let's have a look. Production efficiency. Yes. recruitment yep that's looking good and then we will need more let's have a look to get these troops allocated all together and as soon as as soon as we've got them in 24 units, nice number of units. So, training wise, we'll see what we can do. Oh, it looks like we've now got ships. No ships? Oh, great. They're moving over. Fantastic. Oh, so it's just the trade wise. So, we'll do 10 ships, then it's going to move on to submarines. Brilliant. Now let's look at the trade side. 
Oil. Yes, we have oil. Yes. Okay. Production. So we're working on a factory. Let's slow this down a little bit. Modify the government. Materials. Artillery design. Research time. Chief of the Navy. Decisive battle. Anti-submarine. Eh. Theorists. Air, naval, military. I think it's all it's all gonna be military. It's all gonna be ground based. So we'll upgrade these weapons now to the next level. Which is going to improve the troops, give us the stock. We have a stockpile of weapons. Let's check the stockpile. 2,000 weapons, which will give us a basis of basic of equipment ready for when we need it. Brilliant, producing convoys. Production, support equipment. As soon as we, well, we need. To, enough equipment on the way in let's have a look aluminium how is the production going to be hampered not too bad actually i'm liking the way this is looking we will need more troops That's looking really, really good. So, recruitment. Let's have a look. Let's keep those units coming out. The more men, the better. And sort of, let's have a look. What or, oh yes, the attrition. As long as we've got enough infrastructure and enough to be able to supply the troops, numbers are, are going to be fine. So speed this up. Get the troops in place. Navy experience. Political effort, let's have a look. 120, that's neat. Collectivist, fascist, non-aligned, libertarian. Democratic. Trade deal opinion plus 20. Now this is where it can all go south. It's easier if we're fascist... we can we can trade with uh, with Japan let's go fascist so collectivist first no oh no ruling party that's uh, uh interesting so we can't do that at the moment so Let's go for Libertarian. That's an interesting one, interesting one. So we can't do that. So, yeah. So it looks like we will have to, at this stage, go against Japan. Nineteen thirty-nine equipment. So let's look for interwar artillery because we will be moving into artillery very very soon that's the theory great more modifications now volunteers extensive no we are 
We are where we are. Export or free trade. Plus 15, research. We've got all the research we can really use. Therefore, we need more in the way of materials and the rest of it. Small arms. Let's check out the small arm side of things. So, weapons, 1938. Yes, let's go for small arms. Or the artillery. Interesting. I would say small arms. Let's go with that. Resources, what do we need? Aluminium. Everything else is looking good. We've got nine ships. Cool. Trade is going ahead. Production. Let's check the construction side. What are we building? Right, these factories. More production than factory, than uh, support areas. So, these bases. Yes, the bases in Singapore were facing the sea, and the Japanese came across overland. Yeah, great. So, we are going to need better roads. Roads in Borneo, let's put it up to five. So, we'll go with that. We need to be able to transport the equipment across and support and move the troops wherever they're needed so this is the first hour and i think the bridge malaya is going really really nicely so this is where we are i'm going to call it a, a night there tell me what you think in the comments about uh, the bridge malaya side of things working at this new together for victory for Heart of Ironfall. Let me know in the comments what you think. So that's me, Gaming Bear, signing off, getting ready to uh, to hold off the Jap the might of the Imperial Japanese Navy, Army, Air Force on this little area down here, helping support and help the British Empire stand the test of time. So put in the comments what you think. If you like this, I'm having fun. I hope you have fun with it too. And I shall see you with the next episode very, very soon.